This is Reed Daly's Come Follow Me podcast. In this podcast series, lesson and scripture audio are combined for a hands-free experience. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is kindly granting permission to use the audio content heard in this podcast. We express our gratitude for their generosity. At the end of this podcast, you can hear our full disclosure statement or read it on readdaily.live. November 9th through 15th, Ether chapters 1 through 5, Rend That Veil of Unbelief. The book of Ether is the record of the Jaredites who arrived in the Promised Land centuries before the Nephites. God inspired Moroni to include Ether's record in the Book of Mormon because of its relevance to our day. How do you feel it is relevant to your life? While it is true that God's ways are higher than ours, and we should always submit to His will, He also encourages us to think and act for ourselves. That's one lesson Jared and his brother learned. For example, the idea of traveling to a new land that was choice above all the earth seemed to start in Jared's mind, and the Lord had compassion and promised to grant the request, saying, Thus I will do unto thee, because this long time ye have cried unto me. See Ether chapter 1 verses 38 through 43. And it came to pass that Jared spake again unto his brother, saying, Go and inquire of the Lord, whether he will drive us out of the land. And if he will drive us out of the land, cry unto him whither we shall go. And who knoweth but the Lord will carry us forth into a land which is choice above all the earth. And if it so be, let us be faithful unto the Lord, that we may receive it for our inheritance. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord according to that which had been spoken by the mouth of Jared. And it came to pass that the Lord did hear the brother of Jared, and had compassion upon him, and said unto him, Go to, and gather together thy flocks, both male and female, of every kind, and also of the seed of the earth of every kind, and thy families, and also Jared thy brother and his family, and also thy friends and their families, and the friends of Jared and their families. And when thou hast done this, Thou shalt go at the head of them down into the valley which is northward, and there will I meet thee, and I will go before thee into a land which is choice above all the lands of the earth. And there will I bless thee and thy seed, and raise up unto me of thy seed, and of the seed of thy brother, and they who shall go with thee, a great nation. And there shall be none greater than the nation which I will raise up unto me of thy seed upon all the face of the earth. And thus I will do unto thee, because this long time ye have cried unto me. And when the brother of Jared realized how dark it was inside the barges that would carry them to their promised land, the Lord invited him to suggest a solution, asking a question that we usually ask him. What will ye that I should do? See Ether chapter 2 verse 23. And the Lord said unto the brother of Jared, What will ye that I should do, that ye may have light in your vessels? For behold, ye cannot have windows, for they will be dashed in pieces. Neither shall ye take fire with you, for ye shall not go by the light of fire. The message seems to be that we shouldn't expect God to command us in all things. We can share with Him our own thoughts and ideas, and He will listen and give His confirmation, or else counsel us otherwise. Sometimes the only thing separating us from the blessings we seek is our own veil of unbelief. And if we can rend that veil, see Ether chapter 4 verse 15. Behold, when ye shall rend that veil of unbelief, which doth cause you to remain in your awful state of wickedness and hardness of heart and blindness of mind, then shall the great and marvelous things which have been hid up from the foundation of the world from you, yea, when ye shall call upon the Father in my name with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, then shall ye know 
that the Father hath remembered the covenant which he made unto your fathers, O house of Israel. We may be surprised by what the Lord is willing to do for us. Ideas for Personal Scripture Study Ether chapter 1 verses 33 through 43 As I cry unto the Lord, he will have compassion on me. Ether chapter 1 verses 33 through 43 tells of three prayers of the brother of Jared. Which Jared came forth with his brother and their families, with some others and their families, from the great tower, at the time the Lord confounded the language of the people, and swore in his wrath that they should be scattered upon all the face of the earth. And according to the word of the Lord, the people were scattered. And the brother of Jared being a large and mighty man, and a man highly favored of the Lord, Jared his brother said unto him, Cry unto the Lord, that he will not confound us, that we may not understand our words. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord, and the Lord had compassion upon Jared. Therefore he did not confound the language of Jared, and Jared and his brother were not confounded. Then Jared said unto his brother, Cry again unto the Lord, and it may be that he will turn away his anger from them who are our friends, that he confound not their language. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord, and the Lord had compassion upon their friends, and their families also, that they were not confounded. And it came to pass that Jared spake again unto his brother, saying, Go and inquire of the Lord whether he will drive us out of the land. And if he will drive us out of the land, cry unto him whither we shall go. And who knoweth but the Lord will carry us forth into a land which is choice above all the earth. And if it so be, let us be faithful unto the Lord, that we may receive it for our inheritance. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord according to that which had been spoken by the mouth of Jared. And it came to pass that the Lord did hear the brother of Jared, and had compassion upon him, and said unto him, Go to, and gather together thy flocks, both male and female, of every kind, and also of the seed of the earth of every kind, and thy families, and also Jared thy brother and his family, and also thy friends and their families, and the friends of Jared and their families. And when thou hast done this, thou shalt go at the head of them down into the valley which is northward, and there will I meet thee, and I will go before thee into a land which is choice above all the lands of the earth. And there will I bless thee and thy seed, and raise up unto me of thy seed, and of the seed of thy brother, and they who shall go with thee, a great nation. And there shall be none greater than the nation which I will raise up unto me of thy seed upon all the face of the earth. And thus I will do unto thee, because this long time ye have cried unto me. What do you learn from the Lord's response to each of these prayers? Think about a time when you have experienced the Lord's compassion as you cried unto Him in prayer. You may want to record this experience and share it with someone who may need to hear your testimony. Ether chapter 2, chapter 3 verses 1 through 6, chapter 4 verses 7 through 15. I can receive revelation for my life. President Russell M. Nelson said, quote, I plead with you to increase your spiritual capacity to receive revelation. Choose to do the spiritual work required to enjoy the gift of the Holy Ghost and hear the voice of the Spirit more frequently and more clearly. End quote. From Revelation for the Church, Revelation for Our Lives, Ensign or Liahona, May 2018. As you study Ether chapter 2 and chapter 3 verses 1 through 6 and chapter 4 verses 7 through 15, what truths do you find that help you understand how to seek personal revelation? Chapter 2 And it came to pass that Jared and his brother and their families, and also the friends of Jared and his brother and their families, went down into the valley which was northward. And the name of the valley was Nimrod, being called after the mighty hunter. With their flocks which they had gathered together, male and female of every kind. And they did also lay snares, 
and catch fowls of the air. And they did also prepare a vessel, in which they did carry with them the fish of the waters. And they did also carry with them Deseret, which by interpretation is a honeybee. And thus they did carry with them swarms of bees, and all manner of that which was upon the face of the land, seeds of every kind. And it came to pass that when they had come down into the valley of Nimrod, the Lord came down and talked with the brother of Jared. And he was in a cloud, and the brother of Jared saw him not. And it came to pass that the Lord commanded them that they should go forth into the wilderness, yea, into that quarter where there never had man been. And it came to pass that the Lord did go before them, and did talk with them as he stood in a cloud, and gave directions whither they should travel. And it came to pass that they did travel in the wilderness, and did build barges, in which they did cross many waters, being directed continually by the hand of the Lord. And the Lord would not suffer that they should stop beyond the sea in the wilderness, but he would that they should come forth even unto the land of promise which was choice above all other lands, which the Lord God had preserved for a righteous people. And he had sworn in his wrath unto the brother of Jared, that whoso should possess this land of promise, from that time henceforth and forever, should serve him, the true and only God, or they should be swept off when the fullness of his wrath should come upon them. And now we can behold the decrees of God concerning this land that it is a land of promise. And whatsoever nation shall possess it shall serve God, or they shall be swept off when the fullness of his wrath shall come upon them. And the fullness of his wrath cometh upon them when they are ripened in iniquity. For behold, this is a land which is choice above all other lands. Wherefore he that doth possess it shall serve God, or shall be swept off, for it is the everlasting decree of God. And it is not until the fullness of iniquity among the children of the land that they are swept off. And this cometh unto you, O ye Gentiles, that ye may know the decrees of God, that ye may repent, and not continue in your iniquities until the fullness come, that ye may not bring down the fullness of the wrath of God upon you as the inhabitants of the land have hitherto done. Behold, this is a choice land, and whatsoever nation shall possess it shall be free from bondage and from captivity and from all other nations under heaven, if they will but serve the God of the land, who is Jesus Christ, who hath been manifested by the things which we have written. And now I proceed with my record, for behold, it came to pass that the Lord did bring Jared and his brethren forth even to that great sea which divideth the lands. And as they came to the sea, they pitched their tents, and they called the name of the place Moriankamer. And they dwelt in tents, and dwelt in tents upon the seashore for the space of four years. And it came to pass at the end of four years that the Lord came again unto the brother of Jared, and stood in a cloud and talked with him. And for the space of three hours did the Lord talk with the brother of Jared, and chastened him because he remembered not to call upon the name of the Lord. And the brother of Jared repented of the evil which he had done, and did call upon the name of the Lord for his brethren who were with him. And the Lord said unto him, I will forgive thee and thy brethren of their sins, but thou shalt not sin any more. For ye shall remember that my spirit will not always strive with man. Wherefore, if ye will sin until ye are fully ripe, ye shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And these are my thoughts upon the land which I shall give you for your inheritance. For it shall be a land choice above all other lands. And the Lord said, Go to work and build after the manner of barges which ye have hitherto built. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did go to work, and also his brethren, and built barges after the manner which they had built, according to the instructions of the Lord. And they were small, and they were light upon the water, even like unto the lightness of a fowl upon the water. And they were built after a manner that they were exceedingly tight, even that they would hold water like unto a dish, 
and the bottom thereof was tight like unto a dish, and the sides thereof were tight like unto a dish, and the ends thereof were peaked, and the top thereof was tight like unto a dish, and the length thereof was the length of a tree, and the door thereof, when it was shut, was tight like unto a dish. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared cried unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, I have performed the work which thou hast commanded me, and I have made the barges according as thou hast directed me. And behold, O Lord, in them there is no light. Whither shall we steer? And also we shall perish, for in them we cannot breathe, save it is the air which is in them. Therefore we shall perish. And the Lord said unto the brother of Jared, Behold, thou shalt make a hole in the top, and also in the bottom. And when thou shalt suffer for air, thou shalt unstop the hole, and receive air. And if it be so that the water come in upon thee, behold, ye shall stop the hole, that ye may not perish in the flood. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did so, according as the Lord had commanded. And he cried again unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, behold, I have done even as thou hast commanded me, and I have prepared the vessels for my people, and behold, there is no light in them. Behold, O Lord, wilt thou suffer that we shall cross this great water in darkness? And the Lord said unto the brother of Jared, What will ye that I should do, that ye may have light in your vessels? For behold, ye cannot have windows, for they will be dashed in pieces. Neither shall ye take fire with you, for ye shall not go by the light of fire. For behold, ye shall be as a whale in the midst of the sea, for the mountain waves shall dash upon you. Nevertheless, I will bring you up again out of the depths of the sea, for the winds have gone forth out of my mouth, and also the rains and the floods have I sent forth. And behold, I prepare you against these things, For ye cannot cross this great deep, save I prepare you against the waves of the sea, and the winds which have gone forth, and the floods which shall come. Therefore, what will ye that I should prepare for you, that ye may have light, when ye are swallowed up in the depths of the sea? Chapter 3, verses 1 through 6 And it came to pass that the brother of Jared, Now the number of the vessels which had been prepared was eight, went forth unto the mount, which they called the Mount Shelem, because of its exceeding height, and did molten out of a rock sixteen small stones, and they were white and clear, even as transparent glass. And he did carry them in his hands upon the top of the mount, and cried again unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, Thou hast said that we must be encompassed about by the floods. Now behold, O Lord, and do not be angry with thy servant because of his weakness before thee, for we know that thou art holy, and dwellest in the heavens, and that we are unworthy before thee. Because of the fall, our natures have become evil continually. Nevertheless, O Lord, thou hast given us a commandment that we must call upon thee that from thee we may receive according to our desires. Behold, O Lord, thou hast smitten us because of our iniquity, and hast driven us forth, and for these many years we have been in the wilderness. Nevertheless, thou hast been merciful unto us. O Lord, look upon me in pity, and turn away thine anger from this thy people, and suffer not that they shall go forth across this raging deep in darkness. But behold, these things which I have molten out of the rock. And I know, O Lord, that Thou hast all power, and can do whatsoever Thou wilt for the benefit of man. Therefore touch these stones, O Lord, with Thy finger, and prepare them that they may shine forth in darkness, and they shall shine forth unto us in the vessels which we have prepared that we may have light while we shall cross the sea. Behold, O Lord, Thou canst do this. We know that Thou art able to show forth great power, which looks small unto the understanding of men. And it came to pass that when the brother of Jared had said these words, Behold, 
the Lord stretched forth his hand and touched the stones one by one with his finger. And the veil was taken from off the eyes of the brother of Jared, and he saw the finger of the Lord, and it was as the finger of a man, like unto flesh and blood. And the brother of Jared fell down before the Lord, for he was struck with fear. Chapter 4, verses 7-15 through 15. And in that day that they shall exercise faith in me, saith the Lord, even as the brother of Jared did, that they may become sanctified in me, then will I manifest unto them the things which the brother of Jared saw, even to the unfolding unto them all my revelations, saith Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Father of the heavens and of the earth, and all things that in them are. And he that will contend against the word of the Lord, let him be accursed. And he that shall deny these things, let him be accursed. For unto them will I show no greater things, saith Jesus Christ, for I am he who speaketh. And at my command the heavens are opened and are shut, and at my word the earth shall shake, and at my command the inhabitants thereof shall pass away even so as by fire. And he that believeth not my words, believeth not my disciples. And if it so be that I do not speak, judge ye, for ye shall know that it is I that speaketh at the last day. But he that believeth these things which I have spoken, him will I visit with the manifestations of my Spirit, and he shall know and bear record. For because of my spirit he shall know that these things are true, for it persuadeth men to do good. And whatsoever thing persuadeth men to do good is of me, for good cometh of none, save it be of me. I am the same that leadeth men to all good. He that will not believe my words will not believe me, that I am. And he that will not believe me will not believe the Father who sent me. For behold, I am the Father, I am the light and the life and the truth of the world. Come unto me, O ye Gentiles, and I will show unto you the greater things, the knowledge which is hid up because of unbelief. Come unto me, O ye house of Israel, and it shall be made manifest unto you how great things the Father hath laid up for you from the foundation of the world, and it hath not come unto you because of unbelief. Behold, when ye shall rend that veil of unbelief which doth cause you to remain in your awful state of wickedness and hardness of heart and blindness of mind, then shall the great and marvelous things which have been hid up from the foundation of the world from you, yea, when ye shall call upon the Father in my name, with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, then shall ye know that the Father hath remembered the covenant which he made unto your fathers, O house of Israel. You could mark in one color the questions or concerns the brother of Jared had and what he did about them. And in another color you could mark how the Lord helped him and made his will known. What impresses you about the way the brother of Jared conversed with the Lord? And what do you learn from this about how to increase the flow of revelation in your life? Ether chapter 2 verses 16 through 25 The Lord will prepare me to cross my great deep. To get to the promised land, the Jaredites faced a major obstacle, crossing the great deep. See Ether chapter 2 verse 25. And behold, I prepare you against these things. For ye cannot cross this great deep, save I prepare you against the waves of the sea, and the winds which have gone forth, and the floods which shall come. Therefore, what will ye that I should prepare for you, that ye may have light, when ye are swallowed up in the depths of the sea? The phrase great deep can be a fitting way to describe what our trials and challenges sometimes feel like. And sometimes, as was the case for the Jaredites, crossing our own great deep is the only way to fulfill God's will for us. Do you see similarities to your life in Ether chapter 2, verses 16 through 25?
And the Lord said, Go to work and build after the manner of barges which ye have hitherto built. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did go to work, and also his brethren, and built barges after the manner which they had built, according to the instructions of the Lord. And they were small, and they were light upon the water, even like unto the lightness of a fowl upon the water. And they were built after a manner that they were exceedingly tight, even that they would hold water like unto a dish, and the bottom thereof was tight like unto a dish, and the sides thereof were tight like unto a dish, and the ends thereof were peaked, and the top thereof was tight like unto a dish, and the length thereof was the length of a tree, and the door thereof, when it was shut, was tight like unto a dish. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared cried unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, I have performed the work which thou hast commanded me, and I have made the barges according as thou hast directed me. And behold, O Lord, in them there is no light. Whither shall we steer? And also we shall perish, for in them we cannot breathe, save it is the air which is in them. Therefore we shall perish. And the Lord said unto the brother of Jared, Behold, thou shalt make a hole in the top, and also in the bottom. And when thou shalt suffer for air, thou shalt unstop the hole, and receive air. And if it be so that the water come in upon thee, behold, ye shall stop the hole, that ye may not perish in the flood. And it came to pass that the brother of Jared did so, according as the Lord had commanded. And he cried again unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, behold, I have done even as thou hast commanded me, and I have prepared the vessels for my people, and behold, there is no light in them. Behold, O Lord, wilt thou suffer that we shall cross this great water in darkness? And the Lord said unto the brother of Jared, What will ye that I should do, that ye may have light in your vessels? For behold, ye cannot have windows, for they will be dashed in pieces. Neither shall ye take fire with you, for ye shall not go by the light of fire. For behold, ye shall be as a whale in the midst of the sea, for the mountain waves shall dash upon you. Nevertheless, I will bring you up again out of the depths of the sea, for the winds have gone forth out of my mouth, and also the rains and the floods have I sent forth. And behold, I prepare you against these things, for ye cannot cross this great deep, save I prepare you against the waves of the sea, and the winds which have gone forth, and the floods which shall come. Therefore, what will ye that I should prepare for you, that ye may have light, when ye are swallowed up in the depths of the sea? How has the Lord prepared you for your challenges? What might He be asking you to do now to prepare for what He needs you to do in the future? Ether Chapter 3 I am created in God's image. On Mount Shelem, the brother of Jared learned a lot about God and about himself. What do you learn from Ether Chapter 3 about the spiritual and physical nature of God? How do these truths help you understand your divine identity and potential? Ether Chapter 3, verses 6 through 16. Was the brother of Jared the first person to see the Lord? God had shown himself to other prophets before the brother of Jared. For example, see Moses chapter 7 verse 4 and verse 59. And I saw the Lord, and he stood before my face, and he talked with me even as a man talketh one with another, face to face. And he said unto me, Look, and I will show unto thee the world for the space of many generations. And Enoch beheld the Son of Man ascend up unto the Father. And he called unto the Lord, saying, Wilt thou not come again upon the earth? For as much as thou art God, and I know thee, and thou hast sworn unto me, and commanded me that I should ask in the name of thine only begotten, thou hast made me, and given unto me a right to thy throne, and not of myself, but through thine own grace. Wherefore, I ask thee, if thou wilt not come again on the earth. 
So why did the Lord say to him, Never have I showed myself unto man? See Ether chapter 3 verse 15. And never have I showed myself unto man whom I have created, for never has man believed in me as thou hast. Seest thou that ye are created after mine own image? Yea, even all men were created in the beginning after mine own image. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland offered this possible explanation, quote, Christ was saying to the brother of Jared, Never have I showed myself unto man in this manner, without my volition, driven solely by the faith of the beholder. End quote. See Christ and the New Covenant, 1997, page 23. Ideas for Family Scripture Study and Family Home Evening as you read the scriptures with your family, the Spirit can help you know what principles to emphasize and discuss in order to meet the needs of your family. Here are some ideas. Ether chapter 1 verses 34 through 37. What do we learn from these verses about praying for others? What other truths about prayer do these verses illustrate? Ether chapter 2 verse 16 through chapter 3 verse 6. What does the brother of Jared's example Teach us about how to find answers to our problems and questions. Maybe family members could share experiences when they sought and received answers from the Lord. Ether chapter 4 verses 11 through 12. After reading these verses, family members could write down some everyday things that influence your family, such as movies, songs, games, or people, on slips of paper and place them in a bowl. Then they could take turns picking one and discussing whether it persuaded them to do good. See Ether chapter 4 verse 12. What changes does your family feel inspired to make? Ether chapter 5. You could hide an object or a treat in a box and invite a family member to look inside and give the rest of the family clues to help them guess what it is. As you read Ether chapter 5 together, Discuss why it is important that the Lord uses witnesses in His work. How can we share our witness of the Book of Mormon with others? For more ideas for teaching children, see this week's outline and come follow me for primary. Improving our teaching. Be ready always. Quote, Informal teaching moments pass quickly, so it is important to take advantage of them when they arise. For example, a teenager with a difficult decision to make may be ready to learn about how to receive personal revelation. End quote. See Teaching in the Savior's Way, page 16. Thank you for listening to Read Daily's Come Follow Me podcast. Please share this podcast with family members and friends who can find us on readdaily.live or their favorite podcast application. The Intellectual Property Department of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is kindly granting permission to use the audio content heard in this podcast. We express our gratitude for their generosity. Along with granting permission, they ask that we make the following statement. Any products offered by ReadDaily.Live are neither made, provided, approved, nor endorsed by Intellectual Reserve, Inc., or The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Any content or opinions expressed, implied, or included with any goods or services offered by ReadDaily.Live are solely those of Howard Patrick Holman and not those of Intellectual Reserve, Inc. or The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.